Hopping through restrictive firewalls, this time on Metasploit Minute. This Metasploit Minute is brought to you by Hack5 and viewers like you. Support us directly at hakshop.com. Welcome to Metasploit Minute, the breakdown on breaking in. I'm Rob Fuller, but you can call me Mubix. This time we're going to be going through a little bit of a scenario where we've jumped into and exploited one machine in the DMZ of, of this Contoso.com site or, or whatever um, pen test target you have or whatever authorized target you have. So um, we've also sent a couple fishes in, but nothing's coming out. Like we, we've talked to our customer and, and they, they said that people have clicked on it, but for some reason they're not gonna get it allowed out. Well, this is the case and sometimes where their proxy settings or, or some kind of firewall settings is saying, hey, if this is not a known domain or, or the protocol that's talking is kind of funny or if it's doing something that is being caught by hips or something like that, um, a lot of times it's not getting allowed out. Um, well, we've exploited a, a DMZ where we have www data or www, yeah, www data and, and we're able to upload PHP files. Well, the great thing about this is, as we've discussed in our last segment, we have that hop.php. So we've uploaded hop.php as update.php up to this uh, DMZ host. And we're hoping that in this scenario, we have the client machines going through to the DMZ without their proxy settings and their DMZ host being allowed to talk HTTP out, which makes sense. And we're allowed to talk to this HTTP server already. We know that. So if we can talk to it and the clients can talk to it, we should have a good hot point into their network. So what we've done is set up another phishing page, the evil phishing page, and we've told them to download bob.com because that's um, how we roll. So we've got bob.com on this host and they are going to run it. That's going and they, we should start seeing requests. Yep, we see requests coming in and now we are going to run exploit-j on our multi-handler. We have multi-handler set up with the hop URL and the reverse H, uh, hop HTTP for Metasploit, exploit-j. And as soon as we see another request from um, our exploited system, we see that we get one interpreter session pulled in and it sets, up, it sets it up for the second one to come in if we get another one. So we see the hop client coming in and it's all completely loaded. So that's it. I mean, we've, we, it's, a, it's a complex scenario where you're more and more gonna see this problem um, where the proxy settings or, or the security settings on the perimeter are, are much tighter, but the DMZ is still allowed in and out on both sides of the fence. So what do you think? To email me at msf at hack5.org and stay tuned for metasploitminute.com for more shows like these. Thanks again for supporting the show. And if you want to support the show even more, you can go to hakshop.com, enter code MUBIX, and get free Metasploit Minute stickers. Until next time, I'm MUBIX, and I'll be hacking till the cows come home.